What's up YouTube? It's your guy, it's -a me, T Belly here with a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn on a Super Nintendo. Also, stay tuned to the end so you can see how to eject a cartridge from a Super Nintendo properly. So the first thing you're going to need is a controller with your Super Nintendo. And I'm going with my preferred PAL version of the Super Nintendo controller, which is a mixture of the American and the Japanese. Very beautiful controller. You need a Super Nintendo control dock. You need a power adapter, which I have an, a, a generic power adapter, which works with both the SNES and the Famicom, Super Famicom. You're going to need the AV cable because we're going to connect to HD. Now, what I did was I used the one I used for my N64 because they use the same cable, the Super Nintendo, the N64, and the GameCube. Then you wanna, you're going to want to have that connected to an AV to HDMI converter. And last but not least, you want to make sure you put the settings at 720p. Uh, it's a little dark here. You won't be able to see it, but there's a switch right there to put it at 720p so you can connect to your HDTV. So now that we got, oh, and uh, one last thing, you're going to need a cartridge. So it's all connected. Let's turn on the TV and let's get okay, started. Okay, so as you see, the TV has the blue screen on. So it's showing that there is a signal. Um, it says no signal because the game is not on. The system is not powered on. So the way to test that out, you can just power on your system. And you can see if the screen goes black, which nothing happened. But we'll try putting the game in. So right now you want to take a, game, a cartridge, which I'm going to use Super Mario World. Let's remove the dust cover. And with these old games, sometimes they get a little dusty. So what I'm going to do is just blow the cartridge. Just a light blow. After you do this one time, you should be good. Now, you want to place the game into the control dock deck, but you want to push it in. Once it's placed in, you just want to push it in, as you see, and it gripped it. So there's a little grip on it. And um, once you do that, you notice the game system, the game is in, the cartridge is in the game system. So now we're going to power on and see if it works. And there you go. That's how you connect a Super Nintendo to an HD TV. Well, that's how you turn on a Super Nintendo. Basically, simple instructions, not too hard. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is how to eject the cartridge. So as you see, the cartridge is in. So I'm going to turn this off. And some people might grab it and pull it out. Do not do that. Super Nintendo was made special in this way. They have an eject button, you press it. Now your cartridge is ejected. Now you can just take it out calmly. So remember to put it to connect it to the control deck. You place it in, you press it down, and then you turn it on. The game is on. Then when it's time to take it off, you power it off, press the eject button, and then take your game out. It's that simple. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't mind the disgusting yellowed Super Nintendo. It's your guy. T-Belly, I'm signing off. Cheers.